it's Minnie Riley here and I want to do a video about my short hair because apparently it has it's a lot of news um, yeah so let's get started so I started cutting my hair um, I think we're going on two years it feels like it Another dream seven Another dream. Yeah, wait. Yeah, so I went to live the. I went to Austin for live the dream six and what 2014, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, so it's like more than a year. I've been cutting my hair, and um, here's what I noticed about cutting my hair shorter. Um, it really depends on certain people. So, my neighbor in my building, the one that got his cat from freaking Mexico, which I don't know why you would adopt a cat from Mexico, but he did, um, made this comment that, um, you know, you cut your hair. Why? Like, I'm supposed to have other people's permission to cut my hair. And I'm like, yeah, it just makes life a lot easier, because if I really need to pull out the weave I used to wear that cost me, like, a thousand dollars, to add weave, color it, change it, put it back on, and then when I left my hair out for that time, I have no idea to keep my natural hair. I have no, so all that wonderful hair I had, it's gone. Like, it's totally gone. I should really add a clip in the description if I can find it of clips of like my natural hair when it was long um yeah it's all mine it's all mine okay because <laughs> yeah you guys are because um yeah um that broke off pretty quickly because I had it I don't know what to do with it I didn't keep it and it broke off I think I had it for like maybe four months before it broke off completely and then I went back to being dreadlocks and clumps and natural, almost virgin-like hair because my hair tends to grow up really, really fast, which is also what I notice about having my short hair. Um, I pretty much need to get my hair done almost like every two to three weeks to keep that short hair thing going on. And then on top of that, to get my hair done, I'm going to a male barber shop to cut my hair. And, um, let's see, this first time I went in there, I had the picture on my phone of the haircut I wanted, but I also had naked pictures of myself on my phone that I completely forgot were there because the boyfriend sent them to me. So you can imagine his face looking at me, looking at the phone to try to get the picture because I didn't, like, I didn't get the picture ready before I sat in the chair. I, like, yeah, I wasn't thinking. And then now I'm thinking like I have like selfies on my Instagram of me getting my hair done like when I'm standing outside the barbershop but I've never actually done a video inside the barbershop of me getting my hair done. So I'm thinking I could, I've been going there a few times, that I could just ask, you know, can I record my haircut? But I really don't want to bring in a tripod to get my hair cut. And then I'm worried about like hair falling into the camera while I'm getting my hair cut. So next time I go to the barbershop, I will uh, really make a good effort of bringing my camera so you guys can actually see me get my hair cut. Then the other thing about my haircut. Um, family members, an uncle, yeah. He made a comment that he thinks I'm a lesbian because I'm hewing my hair short. Yeah, exactly. Ex yeah, exactly. So, um, but really and surely, the like the only person that really like opinion matters about my haircut is you know the guy that I'm fucking. And he really doesn't care. So that's also the reason why the haircut has been keeping up because I have someone in there who compliments on everything that I do and loves everything I do right now so I don't have any like drastic need to wear back hair extensions because he likes to grab and pull my hair when I have hair to pull and I have not had that happen before because I generally had hair extensions so to actually be with somebody that's pulling my hair while we're having sex and like while we're doing the foreplay thing is kind of really fun 
It is. I understand why white girls do it. Yes, I know. I said it. <laughs> um, what else I got? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm cutting my hair short because I can and I like it. And because I'm retiring from being a cam model full time. Yeah, I get to keep my hair short. And until the boyfriend requests for long hair, I really don't have to worry about getting long hair. But I have a feeling that if I grow up my hair to an afro, he's really going to like it. So if I can figure out how to maintain an afro, I might do that. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. See you guys later. Smooches. Oh yeah, by the way, um, subscribe to my channel, comments below, like this video if you like it, and I will see you on the next one. Smooches.